from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. After another spike in confirmed cases, health officials heading into the weekend not sure where the country is dealing with the third wave of the coronavirus. Low numbers reported for both Monday and Tuesday, but on Wednesday, the numbers jumped back to 40 cases spread over three islands, 29 in the capital, 10 in Grand Bahama, 1 in Abaco. Not what officials wanted to see. Forty persons were still in hospital through Wednesday, four of them sick enough to be in the ICU. The death toll continues to increase also. Two New Providence women, the latest victims, 172, the other 45. The death toll is now 236. Health officials continue to monitor the situation in the two islands where lockdowns are still in place. Cat Island and parts of Andros, they're scheduled to end Monday morning. No indication what happens next there yet. That court hearing involving that Cuban woman who relatives believe is still alive and being held on the Bahamas somewhere has been adjourned to June 24th now. Immigration officials are contending that Adriana Caro was among persons who drowned when a boat loaded with immigrants capsized in the Keysal Bank area three months ago. More than a dozen persons are believed to have drowned in the incident, Relatives contending they have reason to believe Mrs. Carroll is still alive. Justice Bernard Turner is hearing that case. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. House members taking a break from the budget debate over the weekend. They'll go back at it next week. Controversial House Speaker Moose were involved in yet another clash with a member during yesterday's session. This time it was former Deputy Prime Minister East Grand Bahama MP Peter Turnquist and the Speaker going at it. And this is part of that exchange. Like, you know, you oh. remember you no, no, started no, no, off wrong. No, 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 Mr. Speaker. You started no, no, off speaker. accusing you, the chair of, a, of, of attacking speaker. a civil servant. With due respect, Mr. Speaker, you have a right to state your opinion. I have a right to state my opinion. And your opinion cannot infringe on my rights. I, I have not in not one minute. That is, the, on your right. that is exactly but I have, but I what I just expressed to you. No, no, you Speaker. are infringing on my rights. The Speaker has been at odds with the Minister's administration over a number of matters. Nothing official as yet, but officials of the John Canoe Corporation say they're hopeful they'll be John Canoe this year. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Overnight Accu Weather Update, brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Mostly clear skies tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s, 77 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the sea's three feet or less. Low tide now, the next higher on 11 this evening. Saturday's forecast, mostly sunny and warm, ice in the upper 80s, no systems in the tropics. The weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World News headlines. The G7 leaders preparing to wrap up their two-day summit meeting in England. They've been discussing a number of topics, including climate change and ending the corona pandemic. U.S. President Biden preparing for other meetings before returning to the U.S. He's heading for Brussels on a NATO meeting there, where he hopes to reassure allies of U.S. support. And then it's on to Geneva for a face-to-face meeting with Russian President Putin. A lot of countries now have the coronavirus under control due to vaccination programs. Chile is not one of them. Increased cases there are forcing the government to put new restrictions in place. Sports notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's pro golf and soccer. Big international tournament is coming up. And Major League Baseball, Jazz on the Marlins, opening a series with the Atlanta Braves tonight in Miami. A full schedule of games tonight. DeAndre Aiden and the Suns now in Denver for Game 3 of their NBA semifinal series tonight. That'll be on TV. Semifinal day at the French Open Tennis Tournament. The coverage will be on TV also. 
John Quill and the Sun off again tonight in the WNBA. Not scheduled to play again until Sunday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper back on the streets Monday morning. Stay up to date over the weekend online at Tribune242.com.